awesome besties and space fans. Today, I am going to do something I have been wanting to do for so long. In honor of Black Hole Week, we are going to make a doll room inside a spacecraft. I'm living out my sci-fi dreams, y'all. Now, black holes are a thing, but this room is totally made up and it's going to be in a hidden doll room. For this project, we are using foam board, clear plastic from packaging, and a picture of space. This is a piece of scrap of paper I bought online. Let's get started. This piece of foam board measures 20 by 30 inches. I'm going to cut it to 13 inches high, so I get a 13 by 30 inch board. I measure over nine inches on the sides, score a line so it can bend. Repeat on the other side to make a trifold. We have nine inches on the sides and 12 inches in the center. Draw a line one inch past the bend. On the leftover foam board, let's cut 13 by five inch rectangles to glue onto the side walls extending them so they are now 14 inches long. I cut a piece of foam board for the floor. It's 14 inches by a little under 12 inches. Glue it into the corner. I cut another piece of foam board that is 13 by a little under 12 inches. Let's draw a three inch line at the bottom and a two inch line at the top. I'm tracing a plate to make a circle, sketch out a window, cut it out very carefully. Love it. Let's get some poster board and cut out some trim, glue it onto the window. I use hot glue to make little dots. I did my best to keep them evenly spaced. We are gonna have to paint these in order for them to stand out, but we can get to that later. I cut a two inch strip and some pieces to go on the sides and one for the bottom. Let's glue those together. This will be glued to the top of the window. But before we do that, take clear plastic from packaging and tape it in the back. Let's glue our little box on at the top. I made a larger box. This one's about six inches wide and I'm gonna glue it to the bottom. Cool, now it can stand on its own. Let's cut more poster board and glue it on the top. I added some pieces underneath and some glue dots. We're using a lot of poster board. I totally forgot to add that to the supply list. I cut a one inch piece of foam board and glue it to the back. Let's glue it into the room, making sure the side can still open and close. This is meant to be a small space, but having the wall open and close just helps to get different angles. See, like that. We left the top of this box open, so we have a little storage up there, and we created a little pocket behind the window to hold scrapbook paper, giving us a view outside our window that we can change. We can get fancy and cut small holes in the paper, tape LED lights to the back, place the paper into the room, put the battery pack in this little storage area to give our stars a little sparkle. On this wall, let's add a little green. I take a strip of poster board and make a circle, glue it onto the wall. I'm using hot glue, glue artificial plants around the edge, place a tap light in the center so the plants have plenty of light to grow. This gives us another light source in this room and a little touch of green is always fun. Space is definitely limited in this room, but I think we can fit something right here. I cut a strip of foam board, glue it onto the wall. I put another piece of foam board underneath for a little extra support to make a desk, tabletop, or counter for this space. I cut a piece of black paper, glue it onto the wall. 
Use leftover foam board to make a little box. I'm gluing it onto the wall at the top of the black paper and I have a little bit of a recess here so I can add a button light. I glue another piece in front. I glue a little foil paper on the sides. I added a shiny piece to the bottom. I cut a rectangle of poster board and some smaller rectangles. I put some reflective paper in the middle for a control panel. Add little dots of hot glue. Glue it onto the box to make a 3D food printer of the future. Totally made up, of course, but it does have a little working light underneath. Let's add a shelf right on the side. Let's add a little foil paper for trim on the edges. Yeah, I like that. On a piece of foam board, let's draw like a Z shape. Cut it out, make two. Glue a large piece of foam board at the top between them. I add a few strips at the bottom for support to make a little chair. I'm going to take some of that shiny paper and glue it on top so it matches this area. We can also use it as a nightstand by the bed. Multi-purpose furniture is a must in a small space. Let's cut leftover poster board, add our little glue dots, glue them onto the walls. I'm just putting these all over the place. I cover the floor with clear tape to add a shine. I added tape to this platform as well. I cut two half inch strips of foam board, glue them side by side onto the wall, making sure not to glue the two strips together. So we can cut a piece of clear plastic, slide it between the foam board, creating a see-through wall that can be removed. I cut another piece of clear plastic, score a line so it can bend. Place it on the counter to use as a screen in our sci-fi room. Since we are making this room in honor of Black Hole Week, I printed out some pictures on clear sticker paper. One of them is from NASA's Black Hole Safety Information Card, where I learned that black holes can be surrounded by rings of gas and dust called accretion disks. I thought that could be some handy information for our dolls to have while they're in space. I printed a small section of the card onto clear sticker paper, and I'm just cutting it out. Then I peel off the backing and place it onto the screen. I made a little keyboard the same way, so the dolls will have a little work area. I also made a little picture to remind them of home. We can also place one on our removable glass wall to be a super modern futuristic TV screen. I'm loving the way this room is coming along, but we need to make all of those wall details pop out. I mix a little white and silver acrylic paint, then lightly brush around all of those panels we made just to help it have a little more texture and create a little more shadow. Oh yeah, you can really see those details now. On this wall, I glue on more foil scrapbook paper to make a multi-purpose area. We can pretend like it's the door leading into our tiny space room or a high-tech bathroom of the future. In the year 3000, I'll tell you how the toilet works. Just joking, but that's part of the fun of creating this sci-fi room. We don't really have to explain how anything works. With my last few scraps of foam board, I made a small platform. I glue on a layer of felt. I found some leftover shiny fabric from a mermaid tail I made years ago. And we're gonna use it to cover the platform, gluing it underneath to make a mattress. I cut another piece of fabric to drape on the bed so the room looks lived in. Add some pillows and our sci-fi room is complete. This is totally tiny space living with a great view. Our doll can grow fresh veggies and clean the air 
use the 3D food printer to create meals, learn about black holes on the computer, there's a sleeping area with a TV, and a bathroom, giving our dolls everything they need to travel the stars. And it all folds up for easy storage. I love that even though the wall does expand, this room works closed as well. And I made it so that this image is removable and with a little editing, we can make it look like the screen actually works. That's the Traveler. I've been learning a lot about black holes watching videos with this little alien on NASA Goddard YouTube channel. Oh wow, did you know the closest black hole was 3,000 light years away? There's a thing called time dilation. As you get closer to a black hole, time appears to be passing faster for distant objects. But anyone watching you will notice time passing more slowly for you. But you feel like time is speeding up for everyone else. Thank you, Mini Toya. See, there's lots to learn. And there are a lot more videos for doll room tutorials at My Froggy Stuff. Thank you for joining us while we made tiny living quarters for our dolls in space in honor of NASA's Black Hole Week, May 2nd through the 6th of 2022. And we will see you next time. Bye!